Hi guys, today we're going to go after another Grand Theft Auto 5 trophy from Beyond the Stars where you need to collect and return all spaceship parts. Now to start things off, you need to have completed the Fame or Shame mission where you chase down Laszlo as Michael and Trevor. You will then get a Strangers and Freak mission become available up in Sandy Shores that you can only access as Franklin. So make your way over to the mission marker where Omega will task you with going off and collecting all 50 spaceship parts. Now collecting a spaceship part is simply a case of getting to wherever it is throughout San Andreas and then just walking over it where you will be able to pick it up. Some of them are incredibly challenging whereas some others are very easy. So we've just skipped through the cutscene here, we just simply need to leave the area where the 50 spaceship parts will then become available throughout San Andreas. Now they don't actually appear on your map but that's why I'm going to guide you through all 50 as we make our way through this video. Now for your first spaceship part, you need to be outside Los Santos Airport and this one will generate you a 3 star wanted level unless you've already bought a hangar which you can do so just outside the security gate but that's for end game content. If you're trying to get this one done a bit earlier in the game, simply drive through the barrier and then just get all the way down to the end. You'll see a large hangar on your left, go behind it, you'll find a spaceship part just in front of a large rubbish bin. The second spaceship part can be found in Rancho, just off Signal Street. Make your way down the road then, providing you're going south, look to your right where you're going to find some kind of metal work behind a concrete wall. Just on one of these benches will be the second spaceship part. For the third spaceship part, you need to be down on Elysian Island where you're going to be able to find the spaceship part on a catwalk up above two large gas containers. Now you can take the staircases and ladders to get up there. Be very careful on the catwalk as if you fall off, it's pretty much instant death. You'll have to make your way back down there and try again. The fourth spaceship part can be found down on Elysian Island again. This time you need to jump off the edge of the docks, go down underneath the water where you're going to be able to find the spaceship part inside a metal frame on the seabed. For your fifth spaceship part, you need to be down on Elboro Heights. There's a walkway if you're going west 
just off to the left down towards the Pacific Ocean. Drop down there where you're going to be able to find the spaceship part just around to your right in the exit to a storm drain. What is this shit? For your sixth spaceship part, you need to go all the way down to the south coast where you're going to find three islands. On the middle island, just in the centre, will be your spaceship part. The seventh spaceship part can be found in Elborough Heights, heading to the refinery off the road, then going to where the shipping containers will be. In the open container next to the building will be the spaceship part. Your eighth spaceship part can be found in Marietta Heights. Just off to the right of the freeway will be a storm overflow with a ladder that you can go down. Go along the walkway, then carefully jump the fence to find the spaceship part on the concrete structure. Your ninth spaceship part is located in Davis. You need to head to the east side of the hospital where you can climb the stairs, cross the roof and climb another set of stairs taking a left to be on the helipad. Go over to the top right of the roof where you will find the spaceship part in between two air conditioning units. <laughs> The temp spaceship part can be found in Strawberry. You need to make your way under the freeway bridge, then in between the yellow pillars to a slum. Go over to the right and jump over the small concrete wall where you're going to be able to find the spaceship part on the floor next to a pallet and a yellow sofa. The 11th spaceship part can be found down in Vespucci Canals. You need to continue down the street to where you will see a large sign advertising some liquor with a caption reading X marks the spot. 
Just to the left of this building will be a staircase leading down to follow it and then look back on yourself and to the right to see a ladder. Climb the ladder and follow the walkway to the top where you will, once on the final walkway, be able to collect the spaceship part. Now for the 12th spaceship part, which can be found in Pillbox Hill, Del Perro Fury, but it's underground this area. Now this could be a tricky one as you need to drive underground, so make your way to the storm drain just southeast of the map's location, where you can then drive through a tunnel which will be in between the two bridges on the left of the drain. From here, you need to drive through the tunnel, staying left, where you will eventually come to a wooden ramp and some workmen up a wooden ramp to the right. At the top of the ramp will be a red barrier, you can walk around or jump over to the left, where you will then be able to acquire the spaceship part. Your 13th spaceship part can be found in Textile City. Go through the market area looking to the left about halfway down where you will see a small alleyway at the end of which will be your spaceship part. Now for your full team spaceship part, which can be found downtown, you're going to need a helicopter. Now there's several ways that you can acquire a helicopter, however the easiest by far is getting one from the Sandy Shores helipad after having completed the Three's Company mission, which is the main story mission in the game. Then as long as you're playing with Trevor, you're going to be able to go to the Sandy Shores helipad and acquire yourself a Frogger whenever you need it. There are several other ways you can get yourself a helicopter. They spawn randomly on top of the hospital. You might be able to find one in Los Santos Airport, but a lot of that sort of stuff is kind of end game content as you're gonna to need to buy a hangar or you're always gonna be losing the police or you can buy one from Vespucci Helipad. But again, it does cost a lot of money, whereas this way is free. So whatever way you choose to do it, as soon as you've got yourself a helicopter, you need to fly it downtown where you're gonna see a series of large skyscrapers with a blue fountain on the ground Go to the northernmost smaller building on the block and carefully land on the roof where you can then jump up onto the ledge being very careful that you don't get knocked off or killed by the spinning helicopter rotors where you're then going to be able to acquire the spaceship part.
For your 15th spaceship part, you're going to go to an area called Richard's Majestic, which is a film studio. You need to head through the barrier where you're going to acquire yourself a two-star wanted level, so make sure that you get this one nice and quickly. As soon as you're through the barrier, look to your left where you're going to see a staircase going up. Follow it, then stay against the right wall to find another staircase, at the top of which will be a small wall you can jump over to be on a wooden platform. Just in front of a pallet of wood will be the spaceship part. <laughs> Your 16th spaceship part will be on a small island just to the right of the GWC and Golfing Society area. As soon as you enter this area, if you haven't already bought it, which again, end game content, don't worry too much if you haven't, you'll get yourself a nice two star wanted level. And the cops do spawn in the golf course, so just be aware of that one. They will come at you quite quickly. All you need to do is just simply hop across to the small island where you're going to be able to find your 16th spaceship part. Your 17th spaceship part will be found in Burton. Now, you're going to need a chopper to be able to access this one. So, like I said earlier on, make sure that you complete the Three's Company mission and go and get yourself a frogger from the Sandy Shores helipad. Then fly down to Los Santos where you will see a white building with an empty swimming pool on the roof. Carefully land the chopper where you're going to be able to grab the spaceship part. <laughs> The 18th spaceship part can be found in Burton, where you need to head behind the Rockford Plaza where you will find the spaceship part in the middle of some bushes just up on the grassy section. Your 19th spaceship part can be found just in the Land Act Reservoir. What you need to do is cross the dam, then go down the ramp to a jetty, jump in the water, head underneath the jetty, where you're going to be able to find the spaceship part on the reservoir bed. Your 20th spaceship part will be found in the Tatavia Mountains. What you need to do is head down into the sludgy area where you will find several outlet pipes. Look at the end of the leftmost pipe to find the spaceship part.
plan for your 21st spaceship part that will again be in the Tatavian Mountains. You need to make your way down to the water's edge from the freeway, taking care not to get hit as you cross the train tracks, where you will then see the spaceship part on a ledge just near the water. Now for your 22nd spaceship part, which can be found underneath the Ron Alternate Wind Farm, you're going to need a powerful off-road vehicle. Once you've got one, make your way towards the ocean from the freeway and down into a small bay, which will be in front of a cave filled with water. Now, sometimes in this cave, you will get enemies in there. If you do, it will take them out or simply come back later if you haven't quite yet got the weaponry. Once you're down on the bay, you should be able to see a couple of jet skis. If there isn't one, you can just simply swim into the cave you need to make your way to the top right corner, diving under the water's edge to be able to go to the seabed to find the spaceship part. Oh, this is total bullshit. For your 23rd spaceship part, which is located in Vinewood Hills, you need to drive your way down until you see a small little kind of concrete cabin just to the right of the bridge that you're driving on. Once you get there, dive off into the water, turn around and look to the seabed at the bottom of the wall to be able to acquire this spaceship part. Your 24th spaceship part can again be found in Vinewood Hills and you're going to need to be able to control a helicopter incredibly smoothly to be able to land on a very small white platform. So again, get yourself up to the Sandy Shores helipad, grab the Frogger after having completed the Three's company mission. Now, when you get down to where the circular structure is, kind of like, think of it as a landing pad, you need to be able to land so that Trevor can get out the same side as the spaceship part. So it will take some position to do so effectively. Because basically, if he gets out the wrong side, he's just going to get out of the helicopter and then just fall straight down into the water where you won't be able to collect the part. You'll have to go back to the helipad and redo the entire thing again. As soon as you manage to land on the platform on the same side as the spaceship part, you're going to be able to collect it. For your 25th spaceship part, which is located on top of the Galileo Observatory, you're going to again need a helicopter, so get one any way you want, Sandy Shores helipad if need be. 
And then once you've got one, fly down to the observatory where you're going to need to land on the left side of the roof, allowing you to be able to collect the spaceship part, which will be in the bottom left corner of the roof. Your 26 spaceship part will be located in Richmond Glen. You need to enter the mansion grounds, then go around to the back to find the large tree in front of a small fountain. At the base of the tree next to a small rock will be the spaceship part. The 27th spaceship part will be located in Tongva Hills. You need to follow the stream uphill from the road where you will come to a rock formation on your right. Go through the green bushes where you will come to a small cave that looks like it could house a bear. Just inside this cave will be the spaceship part. For your 28th spaceship part, which will be in Barham Canyon, you need to head around behind the villa past the swimming pool, where you will see the spaceship part on the patio next to a telescope overlooking the Pacific. The 29th spaceship part will be in Tongva Hills. You need to go into the vineyard, then go around to the top corner where you can then go downhill by three sections. Go halfway up the vine grove where you're going to be able to find the spaceship part on the floor. Your 30th spaceship part will again be in Tongva Valley. You need to head down into the water under the bridge. Don't jump off the bridge as it's too high. Then go to the water just in front of the waterfall and dive under. Now the water will try and push you back. So swim against the current, rapidly mashing either cross or A, depending on your console, to swim against the current, allowing you to be able to grab the spaceship part.
Your 31st spaceship part will be in the Grand Sonora Desert. You need to make your way up the dirt track to an abandoned house, then go around the back of the house to the collapsed porch where you're going to be able to collect the spaceship part. The 32nd spaceship part will be in the Grand Sonora Desert. Just off from the double hairpin against the cliff face will be your spaceship part. And your 33rd spaceship part will again be in the Grand Sonora Desert. You need to head into the farmer's grounds where you're going to see a white banner going across next to a white fence. In between the banner and the fence on the floor will be your spaceship part. Your 34th spaceship part will again be located in the Grand Sonora Desert. You're going to see a series of large satellite dishes. You need the one on the far left. So go to it and then climb the ladder, staying to the left to follow a small staircase up to a ledge. On the ledge will be your spaceship part. The 35th spaceship part that will be located in Sandy Shores. You need to cross the desert heading towards the large rock, then head right to go up a slope, upon which will be the spaceship part. Your 36th spaceship part will again be in Sandy Shores. Head up through the alien inspired paintings to the top where you're going to be able to find the spaceship part on a yellow ledge. had it right but where did they go Psh, blow me okay and for your 37th spaceship part which again will be in sandy shores you need to swim out into the bay where you're going to be able to find the spaceship part just on the seabed
Your 38th spaceship park will again be in Sandy Shores. Go into the trailer park where you will see a large white and blue boat over to your right. On the right side of the boat will be the spaceship part on the ground. Your 39th spaceship part will be on the Zancudo River. You need to head off to the right of the dirt road to where some trees are growing on the side of the river. Drop down to the left into a small cutout where you're going to be able to collect your spaceship part. Oh! Your 40th spaceship part will be on the Zancudo River. There will be a wooden bridge going over the Zancudo River. You need to go underneath the bridge to be able to find the spaceship part on the ground next to one of the stone struts. Collecting the 41st spaceship part, which is located on Mount Josiah, will be a lot easier with a chopper. So get yourself over to Sandy Shores helipad and then fly over to the lower of the two ledges that you're going to come to. Once you're on the very apex of the ledge, carefully drop down to the ledge below, then look to your left where you're going to be able to find the spaceship part. Now for the 42nd spaceship part, which is located in Cassidy Creek, it's a hell of a lot easier getting this one done with a helicopter. Now you can swim across the bank from kind of the south side to the north side. However, there's a very strong current which can easily throw you off the waterfall, which will be to your left. So grab the frogger from Sandy Shoals helipad and then fly over, landing on the west side of the small island just underneath the bridge. Get out of the chopper, taking care not to fall in the water, then walk east where you're going to be able to collect the spaceship part. Right, now, Spaceship Part 43 in Raton Canyon is the hardest part to collect by a long way, as you need to manoeuvre a chopper in between two pillars under a bridge, land the chopper with enough time before it falls down to safely get out, allowing you to be able to collect the Spaceship Part. 
so first off go and grab the frogger from the sandy shores helipad if that's the one that you've been using if you've got your own one use that whichever way it's entirely up to you then go at the bridge from the ocean side in the middle and be very careful and slow as the rotors will just fit but only if you're at a perfect angle and don't be surprised if this takes you a lot of attempts to do i think when i collected this part it must have taken me a good probably six maybe even seven attempts as i kept crashing the helicopter or the thing would just break down i'd hit the bridge that many times it is a very difficult one to get so just persevere and you will be able to find the sweet spot now if you do die simply phone a car from the hospital get yourself back to the helipad it makes it a lot quicker than going off and stealing the car or running over there and then have another go once you're above the bridge strut hold l2 or lt to plant the chopper allowing you enough time to get out all being well then walk around the bridge carefully where you're going to be able to collect the spaceship part now basically what you need to do is kind of angle the chopper taking it incredibly slowly lining up for the dead center of the bridge strut you then need to very very carefully angle the chopper through as soon as you get the kind of legs of the chopper above the bridge hold down your l2 or lt where you're going to be able to force it into the bridge and then just mash the triangle or y button to get out even for me there the chopper has just fallen off the bridge but either way it worked there's the spaceship part good luck with this one now moving on to something a bit simpler the 44th spaceship part will be in Polito cove you need to head down to the beach where you're going to come to an island with a few trees on it go up the hill of the island where you're going to be able to find the spaceship part Your 45th spaceship part which will be in Polito Forest. Go off the freeway towards Mount Chiliad where you will find a small bridge with a drainage channel. Under the bridge will be the spaceship part. Your 46th spaceship part will again be in Polito Bay. You need to make your way to a small structure behind a wall with a staircase you can take up three flights to then jump in an open window. In this small area will be your spaceship part. Your 47th spaceship part will be on Mount Chiliad. Go into the farm heading for the large barn with Zancudo grain growers on the side. At the back of the barn on the floor will be your spaceship part. Your 48th spaceship part will again be on Mount Chiliad. Now you need to be very careful in this location as the area is a weed farm. If the dealers are there, it will be heavily occupied to scope out the area before entering as they won't take too kindly to you turning up. Now across the wooden bridge, then continue around to the right side of the house. There will be a small barn or garage inside of which will be the spaceship part on the floor just to the left of a wooden table.
For your 49th spaceship part, you will need to be in grape seed, head into the cattle feed area where you're going to find the spaceship part next to some hay bales. And finally, your 50th spaceship part will be in the Sanchiansky mountain range. Make your way down to the water's edge, then go into the boathouse on the right. Near the back of the boathouse will be your spaceship part on the floor. Right, now we can get this quest actually finished up. Now we've managed to collect all 50 spaceship parts. Well done, by the way, for doing so. You're going to receive a text from Amiga once you've got the last one, where you're going to get a mission marker appear on your map. So make your way over to the area, where after the cutscene, your trophy or achievement will then unlock. Now you do also get a bit of a weird June buggy, which has got some lasers that don't work on it and some kind of Christmas lights going around. Not exactly the best reward for the amount of time this has taken. However, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Now, what was I doing? The final piece! I knew you would make it. Come. I have put together this ship to their exact specifications. I got every piece you sent through, except this. You crazy motherfucker. Isn't it incredible? Awesome, dog, but this motherfucker is small. Well, they're small, but very powerful. They're far more evolved than we are. Man, I sure hope the fuck so. So there guys, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. If you stayed with us till the end, I do hope this video has helped you out in order to be able to collect all 50 spaceship parts. If the guide has helped you out at all, please press the like button. It does help us out a great deal. Also, let me know down in the comments how you got on with collecting all 50 spaceship parts. Please ensure that you subscribe to Griffin's Gaming Guides and press the notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. You guys look after yourselves and we'll see you on the next one.